Segway Secrets. Okay, everybody knows about that little Segway. I've actually got the bottom part of the Segway kind of illustrated here from a side view. It's kind of like you can see the wheel on the other side, and this would be sticking out the base. What you don't see is the wheel that's closest to you. This is a side view. Inside that little base that you would stand on, there'd be this long arm coming up here that you, you when you're standing on the base, you'd hold on to the handles up here. Um, there's floating contacts inside the base on this weight right here, illustrated right here. This is the basic concept of the Segway. No big deal. You got contacts on either side. This would be the front of the Segway. This would be the back. There would be this arm coming out with, again, the handles right here. And if you leaned forward, well, this weight would swing forward and contact there, with completing the circuit, telling the wheels to go this way. And so you'd go forward. If you lean back, well, this weight's gonna. This weight right here, illustrated by this triangle-looking thing, has a contact right here and a contact on the body, just like on the body over here for the forward motion. This weight swings back and completes the circuit by this contact hitting that back contact, and tells the wheels to go this way. And so you're going backwards. So ooh, this is really advanced, dude. You, dude, whoever you are that, you know, I forget your name, sorry, forgive me, but whoever you are that designed this, this is nothing but a glorified um, mobility chair with just, you know, two wheels and a stick for people who stand up instead of sitting down. There's no big, humongous <sighs> advancement in technology here. This is the basics for it. His, of course, the Segway doesn't look exactly like this, but this is the basics for it. Now turning, you can either lean and it pro to where it provides a braking effect side to side, to where if you lean on the right side over to the right side, it provides a little bit of a braking on the right side so the left side comes around, or you can brake on the right side to where, oh sorry, wait a second, I already said right side, and the left wheel will come around, or you can lean to the left, which would be away from us, and that side would have a little bit of a braking effect, and you turn around a little bit this way because the, the right wheel would be free moving still a little bit. <coughs> so there's this side to side braking that could facilitate the turning. Another thing is that we'll call that, that, that big long stick with the handle that comes out the control arm. He could have ingeniously, as you're leaning to one side or the other, naturally your hands are on the stick, and if that stick leans to the side just a little bit, like that, you know, or like that. There could be, again, this little contact thing down at the bottom to where you lean this way. Contacts go here and either slow down one, one side or speed up the other. And if you lean this way, well, your, your hand's on the, this stick right here. And when you lean that way, there's these little contact ideas, just like right here, could provide a little slowing effect for the other side so that you could turn. See, there's a couple ways you can do this. So either through the control arm, or through a braking effect by leaning side to side, it puts a little bit of a brake on one wheel or the other, allowing the other opposite wheel to come around. So that's this isn't really a big a big thing. This is this is a play toy. <laughs> that's all it is. It's, it's it's child's play. Anyone with any any knowledge whatsoever can figure out how this works and create one themselves. So there there are some inexpensive versions of this. Plus, if you want a segue to be a little bit better. What you would do with that arm sticking up is you would have just the arm moving itself. You don't have to lean back or forth, forth and you'd have a, a stabilizing wheel back here, a third, <laughs> excuse me, a third wheel back here that this would come out to, and a little seat coming up. <coughs> that little seat coming up. Move the base back a little bit. Have a long, uh, long base coming up and with a seat on it, so you sit down and then as you move the control arm forward that can be your control. Whereas if you move the arm forward, you kind of push it forward, you go forward, you pull it back, you go back, you turn the handles this way, you turn left, turn the handles this way, you turn right. And you can have this third stabilizing wheel back here and just put your body weight between the front two wheels and the stabilizing third wheel in the back. That would be a better design for the Segway. Because then you wouldn't have George people pulling a George Bush because he tried to grab hold of it like a man and pull it back towards him. And of course, what happened when he pulled it back towards him, this weight swung back, hit the contact, and stayed there, and was rolling backwards when he was trying to step on it. So then he pulls it back towards him, it's wheeling back, and then, oh, as he jumps on it, 
and it steps, steps on it and pushes the, the stick forward as it's still rolling back, well, now it's hitting the contact over here and wanting to spin the wheels forward this way, so he goes like this, rear, boom. <laughs> so that was really funny. I applaud him. Very much so, yeah. That was really good. Yeah, very, 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 uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I didn't deserve to make fun of him anyway. So that's it. That's the segue secrets. It's no big deal. It's a, it's basically a play toy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you, you, hey, we've had the idea of a little electric cars, a little racing around, a little track and everything. And kids played with them since they were kids for like 40, 40 50 years, little electric trains. You know, the mag magnets and stuff like that can, the, inside the wheels and, and the bases, the, the battery power and things like that. We already know this stuff, the battery power and magnets to use mo for motion and things like that. But this stuff is not new. So, the guy who developed Segway, do something a little bit better, dude. You need, you need to be, you know, advance that a little bit. That's just, that's just too basic. But anyway, whatever. 